Alright guys, what we got here is we have uh, some Crimson Fists. Now you may be like, they're not Crimson Fists. Well, that's mainly because they're not painted yet. No shit. Anyway. Alright, now, looking at this, we have an army. We got some scouts, we got a Dreadnought from the starter. Anyway, this is a lot of Marines laying around, a lot of work in progress things, starting an Ultramarine army and then never doing it. Lots of little projects, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna make a competitive tournament army out of Marines laying around my house. Now, that's exactly what I did. This is just a little fan going over everything. I built this army today. Everything was built today or scavenged from pieces around my house. Okay, so that's kind of cool. So I built it today. What will I do tomorrow? Uh, let's see. Anyway, this is Pedro, and he's just from a commander sprue. Very cool looking. He's got his little storm bolter thing and everything. He's on a big base because he looks cool. Got some other stuff going on. But, uh, yeah, so this is a tournament competitor army. is three combi melts, three combi plasmas, and a heavy flamer in each strong guard squad. Pedro's attached to one, as you can see, and they're all actually... Well, this guy's like a melty gun plus a, uh, bolter. But they're all combi melts. Like, look, these are all combi plasmas from the commander spirit, which is very nice. This is just a bolter with a melty gun attached to it. Uh, they're, they're all pretty cool. Anyway, yep, they're all in really cool poses. They have the Astaris, the, uh, the studded shoulder pad on their, I think, left shoulder. Yeah, it sounds better, right? Right shoulder. And, like, the Terminatus thing or whatever on the right, which is cool. Or left. Anyway, Heavy Flamer. Very cool. Those are Dreadnought Heavy Flamers, by the way. Let's see what else is going on. So, another Stern Guard Squad, which is to the left, actually. Anyway, Devastator Squad, two missiles, two last cannons, and two last cannons, two plasma cannons. I like the big guns. And some extra body shield marines, which are really cool. Over here, we have the other squad, which is, again, heavy, same loadout, but there's a Power Sword Sergeant, which looks ridiculous, and a Librarian that is completely custom. This guy just looks cool. They're all converted up really cool. Anyway, the army is going to be painted at my level 1, which means it's fast, but also I can do it in a few days. Now, the plan is... He's awesome looking. I'm not even going to lie. The plan is I'm going to... I built the army today. Tomorrow, I'm going to start painting it. The next day, I'm going to start painting it. The day after that, I'll continue some painting. And then hopefully by the end of the weekend, it's finished. And, uh, yeah. That's some of the test models already painted up, which look great. And, uh, we got some sniper scouts. Old metal ones mixed in with some of the new ones. Uh, we have the Assault on Black Reach Dreadnought. And, uh, some custom green stuff Rhino that was going to be, like, unoriginal for the Ultramarine Rhino. But, uh, I ended up, uh, hey, it can be Crimson Fist, whatever. Anyway, there used to be the old Ultramarine symbol. Yep. That is going to hold Pedro Snurger as well. The other Rhino, eh, whatever. This used to be my old Ultramarine's Predator. Which is very cool, actually. Big fan of it. That's like one of the first vehicles I ever painted. Actually, it is. And this is just very basic Rhino. A little green stuff banner and stuff here and there. Very basic. This is just going to be for the Tactical Marines.